a massive push to end bullying in the wake of 15-year-old Phoebe Prince's suicide. This sick trend has even coined a new term, bully side. All six teens accused of tormenting the girl have pleaded not guilty and not one bothered to show their face in court. Is there any remorse for this life lost? Then Tiger Woods' bizarre new ad. The pro golfer's first commercial since his sex scandal broke aired last night. It features Tiger alone, staring somberly at the camera while listening to his dead father. Tonight, a high school freshman is dead after prosecutors say she was tormented so badly she committed suicide. Six of Phoebe Prince's South Hadley, Massachusetts schoolmates have all pleaded not guilty to a slew of charges, including statutory rape, harassment, and stalking. None of the six showed their faces in court this week. They had their lawyers do the talking. But are the alleged bullies the only ones responsible? A close friend of Phoebe's family claims the school knew about her nightmare long before she hanged herself in January. He made this dramatic claim right here on Issues. So, so no, I don't buy you're it. You're I mean, saying I... they are just flat, they're flat out saying they didn't know. Well, I think that they were, uh, they just looked the other way. They were attempting to cover it up. Wow. Meanwhile, a backlash against the alleged bullies has exploded online. Just as Phoebe's loved ones memorialize her on Facebook, four of the so-called mean girls are now targets themselves of a mysterious cyber vigilante. More on this chilling development in just a moment. First, straight out to my amazing expert panel, Judge David Young, former Florida Circuit Court judge, and we're very honored to have with us tonight Sir Dino Walker. Her 11-year-old son was tormented at his school and, like Phoebe, was pushed to the edge. Carl committed suicide a year ago. Look at that handsome young man. Sir Dina is now on a mission. We're going to hear about her amazing work in just a moment. But I want to start with Jeff Katz, talk show host on Boston Radio Rush 1200. Jeff, talk radio has to be on fire. Who do your listeners blame more, the alleged bullies or the grown-ups, parents and school officials? Well, it's a great question. I think that we have, uh, we have a fairly interesting mix. We have a large number of moms and dads like myself in the audience who are outraged that something like this can take place in the school. But I think most of us can remember back to being teenagers, can remember back to teenagers saying and doing awful things, in some cases stupid things. Uh, so I think a lot of our attention is certainly pointed towards staff. And the more that the chairman of the uh, South, Ca South Hadley uh, School Committee talks out, the more you realize, gosh, this is a school system that just seems to be out of control. Yeah, and now here's a shocking twist in Phoebe's story. And it comes in the form of retaliation against the alleged bullies. And it's my big issue tonight. Is there a bully boomerang? Get this, a mysterious cyber vigilante has targeted four of Phoebe's accused tormentors by setting up counterfeit websites created under their names. The sites are easily accessible. You can Google them. The sites include links to newspaper articles about the case, but they also include very nasty stuff, retaliation, um, all sorts of obscenities. So, are these kids getting a taste of their own medicine, or does this retaliation only make things worse, Judge David Young? Well, the first thing, Jane, that school system knew what was going on, and that school system, because of a fear of the lawyers and a lawsuit, failed to act in this case. You know, I, I, am, I am outraged by this whole case. I'm outraged the fact that children would bully other children. Where do they learn this behavior from? I tell you where they learn it from. They learn it from their parents. They learn it from society. Enough is enough. Bullying has got to stop and schools have got to step in and say, we're not going to tolerate it anymore because when parents give to their children an education, they don't expect them to, to end up suicidal. They expect them to go to college and do great. And that's not what happened here. And, and I just, my heart just goes out to these parents and oh, their families. Oh, absolutely. A disturbing new word has now emerged in the wake of two tragic teen deaths. The mother of 11-year-old Carl Walker has, Carl Walker has coined the term bully side. It's a great term. It expresses it to the T. Carl hanged himself with an extension cord last April in Springfield, a town just 10 miles away from where Phoebe lived. This precious 11-year-old boy, so handsome, look at him, taunted mercilessly with the phrase, that's so gay. Even though he was 11 years old, he did not express a sexual identity. Uh, we are, again, delighted to talk to that boy's mother, Serdina. 
uh, our hearts go out to you. What goes on at home when a kid is being tormented so relentlessly? Did your son keep it from you to protect you or were you aware of it? In the beginning, um, I was aware of him, of the fact that he was um, bullied at school. He did tell me and then I did go to the administrators of his school and I informed him, them that Carl was being bullied. Yeah, and I understand that this tragedy happened as you were getting ready to leave for yet another meeting with school administrators. That has to be a huge frustration for you. On the last day of Carl's life, um, there was a fight in school. I never was informed that there was a fight that day involving Carl. He told me about the fight, and my intention that night was to go to a PTO meeting to talk to, to the director of the school to try to get to the bottom of what happened that night, that day in school. I gotta say this, Jeff Katz. I think when bullying occurs, the parents need to be brought into the school immediately and cross-examined about what the heck is going on in their home that they have produced a child that is so sadistic. And I think you've got to put it on the parents immediately. That's my opinion. Well, I, I think you absolutely have to reach out to the parents. There's no question about it. I think we also need to be realistic, though, that we've had teenagers that have engaged in stupid behavior, aggressive behavior, uh, uh, behavior that uh, we as adults look back on and think was absolutely ridiculous. Um, in most cases, it hasn't had these sorts of tragic results. So absolutely, you've got to reach out to parents and find out what's going on. And you've got to hold the adults yeah, accountable. Jeff, listen, in, in the case of Phoebe, there were allegedly six teenagers who conducted a relentless campaign of harassment against her for three months. This wasn't just one one comment. This was throwing drinks at her. This was knocking books allegedly out of her hand. This was going on the website and saying nasty things about her on Facebook. This was a campaign according to the DA. Well, I, I agree with you. There was certainly an organized effort on the part of these folks. Uh, the idea of throwing drinks or knocking books out uh, does not sound to me to be totally out of the realm of things that happened with teenagers, but the attacks that were posted online were absolutely vicious, and what many of us who are 30 or 40-something do not realize is the cyber world in which so many of our teenagers are now living. Uh, this stuff stays on the web. It's there forever. Uh, and again, put yourself in the mindset of a 15-year-old. This, this is a huge obstacle uh, to surmount, so you've got to hold those teachers accountable who we know. Uh, we're told, we know the staff was made by, were, were advised of this, and you absolutely have got to reach out to those parents and say, what the heck is going on with your kid and let's get back to the case of 11 year old Carl what about this expression that's so gay check out this clip from Hillary Duff's fan club so gay really yeah it's totally gay you know you really shouldn't say that say what well say that something's gay when you mean it's bad it's insulting what if every time something was bad, everybody said, oh, that's so girl wearing a skirt as a top. <laughs> Both Hillary Duff and Wanda Sykes have spoken out against using the word gay as a weapon. Bullies have now demonized that word. And uh, obviously, Judge David Young, this is uh, homophobia. Oh, it's, it's clearly homophobia. Where did they learn it, Jane? They learned it from the parents. You know, I equate it to when fathers are involved in a squabble at a Little League baseball game. They get into a fight and what happens? Somebody throws a punch against somebody else. This is where the children learn their behavior. They, that school system should have brought those children in immediately. They should have acted immediately. They should have called the parents in who probably were gonna be a bunch of jackasses anyway and, and deny that their children could do anything wrong. But the sc school should have either suspended them, put them on notice or, or proactive. They should have been proactive like the police were in that other case and none of this would have happened. I know you are pushing for legislation, Sir Dino Walker. Uh, it's very complex, but it's very thorough. I pray that your laws are enacted. We're going to stay on top of this story so that your precious son did not die in vain. I applaud your courage for speaking out and not cowering. We've got to stand up to the bullies, okay? Back off, bullies.